Bill O'Reilly basically begged Donald Trump to do the Fox News GOP debate, of course the last debate before the Iowa caucus, and uh, this was very telling in a couple different ways. Let's uh, look at a little part of it here, and then we'll come back and discuss. It's, there's two tracks. When, when a, the folks, when the American public elects a president, they elect two tracks. They elect policy and a person. Would you say that right now, Donald Trump, all right, is a person who can let petty things, and that's what I think this is all about, this petty things, influence him to the extent that he doesn't do what maybe he should do? Well, let me put it a little differently. I don't like being taken advantage of. In this case, I was being taken advantage of by Fox. I don't like that. Now, when I'm representing the country, if I win, if I'm representing the country as president, I won't let our country, because it's a personality trait, I'm not going to let our country be taken advantage of. You can be sidetracked sometimes, and I'm not talking about you, Donald Trump, but any human being can, and not see I agree. what the real important thing is, because, look, Putin's going to come at you. The Mullahs are going to come at you. Uh, right. Certainly the, the okay. terrorists are going to come at you. And it's going to be personal. They're going to do everything they can to diminish right. you. And, to, and, and you hope to, as a president, you have to rise above that, all right, and do what's best for the country. And this exposition that we're talking about today, people are going to say, you know, Trump, he's just too self-absorbed to be president. He needs to look the bigger picture. Well, and the bigger picture is get your message to the folks. There's got to be something because you set the all-time record in cable history, and so did CNN. And so they there's want be to know you. On, Bill. They want to know well, you, fine. but by walking away from this debate, uh, you're, not, you're not giving not them the opportunity away. to know them I as well as away. they would like. I'm not walking away, Bill. You're I'm not walking, away. walking away. Would okay. you do me a favor? Bill, I, look, Bill, you not. owe me because I bought you so what many, so hey, many vanilla milkshakes. I bought you so many vanilla milkshakes. You owe me. Will you just consider? I want you to consider, all right? Think about it. Say, look, I might come back. Forgive, go forward, answer the questions, look out for the folks. Just want you to consider it. You owe me milkshakes, I'll take them off the right. ledger if you consider it. Well, even though you and I had an agreement that you wouldn't ask me that, which we did, uh, I will therefore forget that you asked me that but it's up to Fox <laughs> it's not up to me Bill they what they did you're is actually they, telling well, we the truth had there. that agreement you actually, actually did break you're the actually agreement you're actually telling the truth that I so, said because I told I you said, up front I said don't ask me that question because it's an embarrassing of course, I'm question not listen, to you and I don't I'm not going to listen you. to anybody right but I'm not going to listen to any political person tell me don't ask me anything but you're absolutely an honest man then I said I, I'll try not to do it, but the milkshake thing just overwhelmed me. But I'm asking you to reconsider it. A lot of milkshakes. If you don't want to, it's up to you, and I'll give you a compliment. I don't know any politician under these circumstances that would have come on in here and done what you did tonight. I, I just don't know any. And by the way, so this is that, much tougher than the debate. Bill, this is much tougher being with you. Because, frankly, you're smarter. This is much tougher than doing the debate with Megyn Kelly, believe me. That was, that was strange to watch. Papa Bear Bill O'Reilly just got outplayed to the point where he was put on the defensive and he was like, all right, you know what, I'll, I'll give you a compliment. You were honest, and I don't know any other politician who would be brave enough to come in here and talk to me under these circumstances. So I'm going to genuflect at the altar of Trump now. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. So notice what he does there. This is Donald Trump 101. So he's going to brag and he's going to be confident while at the same time flipping every single argument here. So the whole point of the conversation is... Why are you being weak? Why are you being insecure? Why are you not agreeing to come to the debate because you don't like the moderator because she dared to ask you questions about literal quotes, things that you have called women over the years? So why are you fundamentally weak? And then it, by the end of the discussion, you walk away thinking the exact opposite. You walk away thinking, oh my God, O'Reilly was weak. He was like, I, I bought you vanilla milkshakes. Please, I'm begging you to come to the debate. Oh, vanilla milkshakes? What are you talking about? I'm going to give you a compliment. You're really honest, and you're really brave for coming on here now. 
What are you doing? The whole point of the conversation was, why are you dodging this moderator? Because she was tough on you, so you're being weak. And then by the end, it's the opposite. It's amazing. It's And this, again, this is Trump 101. And even when he's he's projecting weakness, he makes you think it's strength. So... <laughs> He's on there talking about, yeah, I, I set the debate records. Every time, every time there was a debate because of me, I set the debate records. <laughs> what the fuck? Again, we're talking about how weak you are, and, and then you flip it to, aren't I so great? How do you do that? And then, uh, I'm not walking away, they are. Again, Trump 101. It is indisputable that Donald Trump is walking away from this debate. Indisputable. He still has an open invitation to go. But what does he say? He just flips it. No, I'm not walking away. They walked away. I'm I'm not walking away at all. They walked away. No, you did. It doesn't matter. Facts don't matter. Just flip it every single time, man. Um, and then another power play was when he said, Well, uh, you, you said you wouldn't ask me that, so I'm going to be nice to you and pretend like you didn't ask me that. The bull's on this guy! The bull's on this guy! O'Reilly's like, look, man, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna ask you to reconsider. Will you please come back to the debate? Yeah, I, you said before when we were talking that you wouldn't ask me that, so I'll just act, act like you didn't ask me that. And O'Reilly's like, oh, okay, you got me there. We did say that off air. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this guy, for all of Trump's flaws, and he's basically one giant walking flaw... Keep it real. His ideas are ridiculous. The ones that he actually has, but nobody even knows what he really fucking believes. Uh, he's a ridiculous human being. He's all bravado and bluster. But one thing he's good at is self-promotion. One thing he's good at is shaping his image. And again, I keep coming back to this same phrase, but it, I say it because it's true. He's a master of flipping it. He'll flip everything right back onto you. And another good example of this was during the debate, which I was amazed by as I'm watching it because it was masterful the way he did it so quickly. Um, he was saying something against Ted Cruz about how, you know, hey, look, he was born in Canada. I'm not saying it's a problem to me, but the Democrats are going to do a lawsuit against him in the general election. So, you know, why would you want to vote for the guy who's going to have a lawsuit against him in the general election? The audience started booing him when he said that. And you know how he flipped it back on them? He's like, see, they're booing. They don't want Ted Cruz to, to be the nominee. They're booing because they love me. That was nowhere near true, but because he did that line and because it was quick and witty, uh, people started laughing and he won back over the crowd. Trump has found a way to redefine every argument against him as, uh, I'm the victim, I'm under attack, but I'm strong and I, I will override this because I'm a leader even when the reality of the situation is the exact opposite, okay? Even when he's basically holding a debate hostage because he doesn't like the moderator because the moderator might ask tough questions. Even when he's clearly insecure and weak to the point where he can't deal with Megyn Kelly, how the fuck is he going to deal with Vladimir Putin and the mullahs, right? Doesn't matter. He finds a way to, to in the eyes definitely of his followers, make them go... There he goes again, this alpha man move. He's an alpha man Donald Trump, which is why he's scared of, of the moderator. <laughs> Makes no sense, but it doesn't have to make sense, because it's Trump.